Ted Rollins, we've seen this happen on so many different occasions during the course of these 14 weeks of this trial. It's a, a lot different though today. Oh yeah, and you know it may not uh, seem that way. The pictures, they seem the same, but I can tell you at the courthouse, it is night and day. The emotion, just uh, walk, watching him get out, there's Jermaine Jackson. Uh, Drew, it has been your insistence and contention that Michael Jackson is not a guilty man here. Can you still hold it? Absolutely. I, I, I do not believe that Michael Jackson is guilty. Well, it, it's eight, eight women and four men, largely middle class, uh, no African Americans on the jury, which has drawn some, uh, which has drawn some notice. at the council table waiting but the jurors have not yet been brought into the courtroom and we just saw in that live shot that one of the courtroom Very doors calm just sense of quiet outside the courthouse where I could barely hear myself uh, a few minutes ago now I can hear a pin drop uh, for a block away there is nobody talking everybody is waiting for this audio feed and every broadcast in television happens. network in all of the country to interrupt its afternoon program to bring you the reading of the verdict against Michael Jackson uh, this is a moment in legal history. Tom Snedden has always been confident. Tom okay. Snedden was confident uh, well, in 93. Okay. Tom Snedden was as confident, and if I may be so bold, to quote others who were observing at the time, cocky. Is as coming in, I'm being told. The jury is now coming in. They had, the judge wanted the alternates to be here as well, four men and four women that sat through the trial. The alternates are coming in with the 12 panelists. And uh, presumably now, within the minute, uh, we should start to hear this audio Frankly, feed from inside. It's a little bit too long for an acquittal. It's not quite long enough for a hung jury. I don't think it's quite long enough for an outright acquittal. I think there's no question we're going to see convictions uh, the judge here. Judge is on the bench. He's got a uh, radio, and the verdict has now been handed to the judge. Judge is reviewing the jury ballots as we speak. The, the jurors are. To an individual, it's in my understanding, staring at the judge in this case. They're not looking around the room, not looking at wow. each other. They're not looking at the defendant. When the they're jury at the stares at the judge, it's not an innocent. They do not want to look at the defendant that they have Bob just given. Shapiro, uh, here we go. Here's the audio. Let's listen. Of the courtroom clerk reading the verdicts, it's coming in now. Motelli, we go there live. And now the courtroom. Superior Court of the State of California for the County of Santa Barbara, Santa Maria Division, the people of the State of California plaintiff versus Michael Joe Jackson defendant, case number 1133603, count one verdict. We the jury in the above entitled case find the defendant not guilty of conspiracy as charged in count one of the indictment, dated June 13th, 2005, four person number 80. Count two, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of a lewd act upon a minor child as charged in count two of the indictment, dated June 13, 2005, for person number 80. Count three, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of a lewd act upon a minor child as charged in count three of the indictment, Dated June 13, 2005, for person number 80. Count four, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of lewd act upon a minor child as charged in count four of the indictment. Dated June 10, 2005, for person number 80. Count five, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of a lewd act upon a minor child as charged in count five of the indictment, dated June 10th, 2005, for person number 80. Count six, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of attempting to commit a lewd act upon a minor child as charged in count six of the indictment, dated June 13th, 2005, 
for person number 80. Count 7, verdict. We, the jury, in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of administra administering an intoxicating agent to assist in the commission of a felony as charged in count 7 of the indictment, dated June 13th, 2005, for person number 80. Count 7, verdict, lesser offense. We, the jury, in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of providing alcoholic beverages to persons under the age of 21, a lesser included offense of that charge in count 7 of the indictment, dated June 13, 2005, for person number 80. Count 8, verdict. We, the jury, in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of administering administering an intoxicating agent to assist in the commission of a felony as charged in count eight of the indictment dated June 13, 2005 for person number 80. Count eight verdict lesser offense. We the jury in the above entitled case find the defendant not guilty of providing alcoholic beverages to persons under the age of 21 a lesser included offense that charged in count eight of the indictment dated June 13, 2005, for person number 80. Count 9, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of administering an intoxicating agent to assist in the commission of a felony as charged in count 9 of the indictment, dated June 10, 2005, for person number 80. Count 9, verdict, lesser offense. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of providing alcoholic beverages to persons under the age of 21, a lesser included offense of that charge in count nine of the indictment, dated June 10th, 2005, for person number 80. Count 10, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of administering an intoxicating agent to assist in the commission of a felony as charged in count 10 of the indictment, dated June 10th, 2005, for person number 80. Count 10, verdict, lesser offense. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of providing alcoholic beverages to persons under the age of 21, a lesser included offense of that charge in count 10 of the indictment, dated June 10th, 2005, for person number 80. That completes the reading of the verdicts. I am now going to go off the air.